So I have news. We weren't approved for a 2015 Hyundai. It was a Hyundai Genesis, so absolutely fantastic. This one didn't have a sunroof. There's so many cars that have sunroofs and I hate it. And especially I'm surprised to see a Genesis not have a sunroof. So Hyundai has a 10 year powertrain warranty, engine and transmission, and six year, 60,000 while the powertrains for 100,000 mile, um, six year for anything that is bumper to bumper covered by the limited warranty. So electrical components, hey, your window suddenly stops working, your radio stops working, navigation, uh, st heated steering wheel, heated whatever. All of that stuff covered by bumper to bumper. Well, this one, the extended warranty would be the option to go with because the six years already went up. It was a seven year old vehicle. However, it had three years left. And this vehicle was, you know, $19,000. And then with taxes and fees, like probably 22. Um, so I wasn't approved. <laughs> I have a better credit score than when I got my Volvo, which was at 16,000 plus taxes and fees. And we were looking at, you know, close to 20, close to 20 um, plus APR, of course, plus APR for these, but not including APR. I had a 533 FICO. Right now I have a 564 auto FICO score, despite the fact that Credit Karma, 620, 625, Discover, FICO, um, 589, 587, whatever it is. So it is absolutely devastating that I need to pay $6,000, including if I trade it in my Volvo. Um, the other option was I sell it to Carvana, I get $2,919 after the payoff. Uh, that's mainly because I uh, put down 4,900 when I purchased this vehicle, like when I traded in my Toyota last year. So I love this car. I absolutely love the performance. The only thing that sucks is the headroom and the legroom and the seats. And I mean, I was so sore yesterday. My back was absolutely destroyed, meaning I cannot keep driving this vehicle. And I want to take a road trip this year to Vegas. I want to show my fiance the United States. All she's been in right now is Chicago, which is super depressing. Today's like the first day it's been sunny. It was raining yesterday and it's just a, it's a disaster over here with weather. I hate it. I hate Chicago. I want to move somewhere warm. Well, anyways, um, definitely not taking a road trip in this car. And the thing is I needed $6,000 down for a vehicle that was 19,000. Yes, but the day before that, I tried at a dealership in our auto group. I was taking a look at the Genesis G80, which is essentially the Hyundai Genesis, but just rebadged. And this was 2017 with 50,000 less miles. That was for 31,900. And this was the ultimate package. It had literally everything in it. Whereas the one I was just looking at, I mean, it had a lot of features. It didn't have them all, but it was pretty, it was pretty good. And that one, I needed a $9,000 down payment. So... I'd rather just pay the 3000 if I had money. I had no money. Uh, if I had the money, I would definitely I would definitely take that 9000 the $3,000 difference and purchase a, a 2017 with a whole lot more warranty. And the warranty itself, every single year, that's like, you know, anywhere from $1,000 uh, to $1,500 worth. So a good warranty is worth a couple thousand dollars. Extended service contracts, they're usually two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000, depending on the terms. Well... Before that, when my adventure first started, when I realized I have these back problems, I have to get an SUV. I need also something that's quiet. So it's like all the recommendations, oh, just buy buy a cheap Toyota, buy a cheap Honda. I can't, because if I want to take a road trip, my ears are more important than my back. But at the moment, it's my back because my back's absolutely aching. However, um, yeah, I need a quiet car and the Hyundai Genesis fit everything. The first dealership I went to, they wanted $18,000 down for a vehicle that was $36,000 plus with taxes and fees. We're looking in the 40s. Um, $18,000 down. So it's pretty depressing considering I got this vehicle with, uh, with a much worse credit score. Not by a lot, but much worse credit score. And I don't know, I'm making all my payments on time and I don't know, I just can't get a car. So our last hope is we're going to try at our dealership, at our main dealership, try and maybe get something from auction. And I'm heading into work right now, try and get something maybe from auction, and we'll see about that. But uh, it, it is absolutely depressing what's going on right now. So, you know, it's it's like one day, one day of consequence, one, one day of, uh, of a mistake, financial mistake, and then you have 
nine years of consequences. The reason I say nine is because usually it's seven and a half. Oh, there's actually a Genesis in our parking lot. Wow. Take a look at that. That is a, take a look at that. That is a gorgeous car. Now that's obviously a 2019, but absolutely gorgeous. So I need a new car. Um, absolutely depressing that with everything the way it's been, April was the worst month ever. The dealership that I went to, they said also worst month ever. Barely got any sales. Um, then my back went out, so I don't have any money right now. I have to pay, I have to pay rent tomorrow. I got to do this. So essentially, apart from what Carvana would give me, that's going to be my only down payment. I, you know, ultimately worst case scenario, I'm going to be stuck with this car and I'm only going to drive it to work and back and then. I bought a lumbar support pillow, but when I put the lumbar support, I actually hit my head even more, so I can't put it in. But anyways, thanks so much for watching today's uh, video. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know, personal little updates. Um, I hope to look back at this video one day, a year or two from now, when I have a good car and uh, I have some money saved up and I'm investing in crypto and everything, and the situation is going to be a lot better. Um, obviously the situation is a lot better than it was last year, but it's still not great. It takes so many years to, to build up. And the reason I said earlier is nine instead of seven and a half. We got interrupted by that Genesis. Um, it's seven and a half when it's reported. But the problem is sometimes these banks and especially the collection agencies, they wait. And in my case, the collection waited a year and a half, a year and a half before they finally reported it. Just like, oh, oh. They restart the, the clock, just like, oh, nothing happened, you know, that year and a half, see ya. So I think we have five or six years left, but with that collection, with everything else, four or five. So thanks for watching. I'm at Enwood Work now. So as of this moment, it does not seem that we're going to be approved for anything. I was taking a look at a 2013 Toyota Highlander. Unfortunately, it had some rust to it and uh, just it had some weird rumbling and some weird squeaking noise, whatever. 140,000 miles, which for a Toyota is not that much. It is a lot, but it's not that much. Had a Toyota with 223,000. Now, I, I just don't think I'm able to qualify for anything. I'm going to check out a Ford Explorer. I don't fit in the Toyota, by the way. So we have to look at American cars because I can't fit in 90% of these cars. I'm hitting my head on the sunroof. I don't want a sunroof. But even with that, the Toyota, like the Highlander, the largest of the bunch, besides the Land Cruiser, you can't move the seat all the way back. Like, come on, man. So, I know you can buy rails and all this, and you have to get that installed, but that's extra money. So, and not every car. The Volvo S60 that I have, you can't do that. I would love to go a little bit further back. I was looking everywhere. Unless I was looking in the wrong places. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> um, the number one thing we have to do is just make sales. Make money. Get a better car later. That's it. So...